There are so many amazing personalities in the world of finance who say so many incredibly wrong things. To present the award for least useful stock commentary, Robert Brokamp. Do I get another round of applause and more music? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. So, nominee number one is a fellow by the name of Mark Faber. So now back in August, Mr. Faber predicted that the market would fall. He said 20 to 40 percent. This is an interview with Yahoo Finance. And while it hasn't fallen that far, it has fallen quite a bit. So you might think, well, this is a smart guy. But here's the problem with Mr. Faber. He's always negative. In fact, the name of his uh, publication is the Gloom Boom and Doom Report. So he was one of those guys who back like in 2009 was saying everything the Fed was doing was going to create hyperinflation. But of course, actually nowadays we're more worried about deflation. Uh, in to, at the end of 2013, his prediction was that the market would drop in 2014 and that gold would skyrocket. The complete opposite happened. The market made money in 2014 and 2015. Gold remains a bad investment. Actually, this year it's done okay, but long term, still not a great thing. So he's um, kind of the broken clock that's right twice, twice a day. day. Exactly. And I don't get it I because have one of those. <laughs> he is always on CNBC and these shows. And I don't understand how he can keep being on because, because, how because, they know, because they know well, it, what they're going to get from him. Yeah, I guess that's, that's for sure. They're like, oh, we need, we, need a, we need a bear to come on. Okay, mm -hmm. I know a guy. His name's Mark. Right. He's always a bear. He's down on everything. Yeah. Wah, wah. <laughs> get Eeyore back online. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay, and nominee number two. And this is not a specific, specific person, but it's more of a meme. It is the easy money has been made meme. And in 2015, it's, it's, it's mentioned all the time. In 2015, we saw it. On Morningstar, we saw on CNBC. Basically, people are saying, like, obviously, this investment or the market went up. Like, we obviously knew that was going to happen. But from now on, well, our crystal balls are are a little foggy. And this one actually comes from our colleague Morgan Housel, and he sent out a tweet about this. And he went through basically instances of every year over the past five or six years where someone said, "The easy money's been made. The easy money's been made." But from here on out, you got to be careful, including going back to November of 2009 in Barron's. The market had just started to recover from the Great Recession, but the article was like, ooh, this obviously we knew there was going to be a rebound, but who knows what's going to happen while well, the market continued to keep going up. So that's another one of those things that's just, it's not very helpful. Yeah. All right, who's the winner? And the winner is. Jamie Dimon. Kind of a big deal. <laughs> kind of a big deal. He's the CEO of J.P. Morgan. And he the told, Silver Fox. He told me. I, I was not familiar with that. People the, call him the Silver Fox? No, but I, you've seen his picture. It, it's warranted. Yeah. It's Anderson warranted. Cooper's the Silver Fox. There can be more not than Anderson one. Not Cooper. Anderson Cooper. Yeah, little, Anderson. Yeah, Anderson. Yeah, on CNN. Yeah. yeah. They, they okay, look kind of similar. Sorry, a little bit. No. Oh. Bill Ackman. Yeah, same deal. <laughs> Let's name all the great... Are you telling me like Jamie Dimon would be your, your no. Wall Street boyfriend? No. Like, if you had to pick... No, actually, do you know what my definition of silver fox is? Like, has a full head of hair that happens to be all gray. That applies to those guys. It's a low bar. <laughs> it, is, it is a low bar. It's extremely low bar. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Look. you kept your hair. <laughs> hey, it's quite an accomplishment. Yes. Just saying. <laughs> Some people are sensitive about that, Alice. <laughs> anyway, so JB Diamond told CNBC a few weeks ago, "quote." When the market is this bad, it's reasonable to say it might be telling you something. But it's also reasonable to say, maybe it's not. And the great thing about it is when you're watching the, sh watching the show, the little, the little thing underneath his picture said... It's called a lower third. That's the thing I was talking about. <laughs> yeah. It said, diamond. Market may or may not be telling something. <laughs> telling That's why they something. pay him the big bucks. That's right. So They don't need to even need the word market in that sentence. So you listen to that, you're like, there's nothing... Diamond may or may not be telling us something. <laughs> exactly. We don't know. <laughs> but here's the thing. The point is, he's right. You do really can't base like what just happened in the market. It doesn't say anything about what's going to happen, at least in the short term. So for people like who react to a big drop in the market like we have seen and then say, oh, this is an indication that this thing is going to happen now, it, it's a bunch of bulls. So for saying something that is not useful at all, he's right. <laughs> big win. So there you go. There you go. Jamie Diamond, you can sleep well at night knowing that Robert Brokamp <laughs> thinks you're right.